Yo, welcome back everybody to a brand new PCGO Silver Tempest video, and today I'm going to be showing off my Zoro Box deck here using the Curlia engine. Now, I really think that Curlia could be the future of draw engines in the Pokemon TCG when, of course, we end up having rotation. Of course, with Inteleon and Crobat leaving, this will open up the door for potentially new draw engines like Curlia to work. Now, the reason why Curlia is kind of cool, it's kind of like a a weirder, weaker version of the Italian engine because you have access to the Ralts that evolves into Curlia, and Curlia lets you discard a card from your hand and draw two cards. But then you can evolve your Curlia into Gardevoir and Gallade, which are all good options. We have Gardevoir with Shining Arcana, where once you're in turn, you may look at the top two cards of your deck, attach any number of basic energy you find there to your Pokemon any way you like, and then you put the other cards in your hand. So essentially, you draw two free cards, and if you're playing basic energy, you maybe get to attach energy. And then we have Gallade with Dynablade, which we can use as a nice big attacker. It does 60 damage for each of your opponent's V Pokemon in play can be really good in matchups where your opponent fills your bench up with a lot of V Pokemon, especially against something like Reggie Lecky Vigavolt. And uh, there's even another Gallade, which I'm not playing in this deck, but there is another Gallade we could also play in the deck here with Buddy Catch, allowing you to get a supporter card from your deck and put in your hand. So this Curlia Draw Engine might actually be the future of what Draw Engines could look like when rotation comes around, mainly because of how many different support Pokemon that this whole Curlia family line has access to. The best way I think to play it right now before rotation was with, of course, Zoro Box, which got a lot better with Silver Tempest. Yeah, forget the record show to the sponsor, Card Cavern TCG. As always, if you're ever looking for any PCGO pack codes, get them over at Card Cavern. Card Cavern sells codes in line for the cheapest. So if you're looking for any set codes, of course, like the main set, Silver Tempest. Get your Silver Tempest codes at Card Cavern. And if you get any codes at Card Cavern at the checkout, use my discount code, code LDF, for a 5% discount on your order. Help the channel, help yourself out, and help our Card Cavern. So shout out to Card Cavern, check them out, and use code LDF. Also, make sure to check out the Shuffle Squad down below. Every Monday, I do post a new video, and then every Thursday, a new episode of the podcast goes live. And we just did our recent episode where we sat down with Alex Shemansky, who got second place at Warsaw. And if you're in a podcast, it'd be greatly appreciated if you went ahead and gave it some support. But yeah, let's look at my Zoro Box deck. Now, I played this deck on my stream for like four hours the other night. And if you want to actually go watch the VOD of that stream, you can go check out my uh, my second channel down below. I did post the VOD over there uh, on my second channel. Um, but yeah, played it for four hours. I really like the deck a lot. And again, I wanted to really try out this Curlia engine because it's really cool that it can evolve into so many different good cards. Now, again, there's another Gallade that you could play, like I noted earlier. And I, I don't play it because I don't think you really need it in this deck. I actually really like this Gallade a lot more at the moment because of Dynablade. And also because it gives you an extra attacker, which this deck doesn't really have that many attackers outside of this, like the Zoarks and the Jirachi and like the Drapion. Now, you might be looking at the deck like, why are you playing Drapion and Mightyena in the deck? Doesn't like Mew already lose? Well, not really. Mew is very annoying. The problem with Mew is they have actually a lot of ways to beat your Mighty Anna. Mighty Anna sucks against Mew unless you have a lot of ways to do extra damage, which we don't play any uh, modifiers in this deck. And Mighty Anna does 160. If they have an Oracorio and playing it, and um, Mighty Anna doesn't one-shot. Also, uh, Mighty Anna can get Lost city and if your opponent just goes Lost City, knock out your Mighty Anna with Mew, then there goes your Mighty Anna. So if Lost City or Oracorio hard counters Mighty Anna. So I'm actually playing Drapion just because it, like, a lot of the time just guarantees you a free KO and a Mew VMAX. And that's why we're playing the Drapion the deck, because it does get you a free knockout against the Mew, and you do need that a lot of the time to beat Mew VMAX, and you do like having the Drapion in the deck. So it just gives us more outs to beating Mew. There's another way we can knock out Mew is with Jirachi, uh, with Astro Misfortune. You can flip through coins, both their heads, your opponent's active is KO'd. So you can just also Jirachi your opponent's active Mew VMAX, knock it out. Also, yeah, Jirachi's the deck. It does give you some extra coverage against, like, annoying stuff like Gudra and Duraludon, but you also just get free Insta KOs a lot of the time if you're able to get that lucky heads going Starting with Jirachi can be really good. You can just get easy knockouts, kind of get a lead on the prize trade. And when it gets KO'd, you get any three cards out of your deck and put them in your hand, which does give you extra resources to keep you in the game, which can be really, really useful um, to set up more stuff later on. I guess we should run through the attackers real quick. We already went over the Mighty Anna. Um, the Flapple is really cool against ability decks. Appleton is really good against Mil Tank, or really good against Blissey and Lugia. Where, of course, you can thick mucus a uh, Lugia with a bunch of energy on. And it's also really good against Blissey if you end up playing against Blissey. Um, I'm also playing Cleaver, which is a really nice, funny Pokemon. I like Cleaver a lot more than Wormadam in this deck. Um, but Cleaver is really good against Arceus. Also, just a nice attacker against Regis. Helps you. It's kind of your main attacker in the Reggie matchup. This is why I like it. Um... Because against Reggie, you need to take a prize every turn and then go slow, bro. We got Breaks in the deck. This deck does play four Serena. We might as well play Breaks in two so that we can use Flare Prey. Do 240 for a twin energy, which is pretty good. And then we got Raichu. Raichu's great against Palkia and really good against 
Lugia, if your opponent used their V-Star power, then Raichu could do 140, which is 280 damage for a single energy, which can knock out those Pokemon. And then we got Hisuian Zoark. Very good in the mirror match because you actually force your opponent to lose their Pokemon. So, you know, you're not a Slowbro stalemate. You can Zoark your opponent in the mirror and then they lose their Pokemon going back in your turn. And then you can take another prize, essentially dodging the Slowbro. Also, it's really getting against Gudra and Duraludon and Reggie Drago. So all those like wall Pokemon, you can just Zoark them and it's awkward for them to counter that and then they just get knocked out. And then of course the good old Slowbro to win the game. That's kind of the most straightforward way to put it. There's a lot of other Pokemon you could play and this deck is honestly really fun. And I played like four hours, really enjoyed it. And I am pretty comfortable with my list. Let's go show it off on Peace Joe and see in action. All right, trying out the Zoro box deck here. We open up with Zorua and Ralts. Okay, I don't really know what we're playing against. I can get Jirachi here, though, so that's good. This could be an Arceus deck. Probably is, looking at the sleeve and the coin. Nope, it's Mew. Okay, Mew is a pretty good matchup. Of course, we have Mighty and a Drapion. Um, if they don't put Oricorio in play, we definitely can go down that road, which is going to be the plan. They do play an Oricorio. That's annoying, but they don't play an Oricorio right away. We can use Mighty Anna to knock out the Mew VMAX number one, and then we can go Drapion to knock out Mew VMAX number two. They do go Mighty Anna. We can probably do double Drapion if they don't play Lost City, which they put an old cemetery in play, which is very much not a Lost City. And they don't play Noricorio, so this opens the door right away for me to be able to go Mighty Anna early on, which is really good. So that gives me Hopium. There's a Choice Belt. It's actually kind of relevant that we open with Ralts, because we can capture and retreat and actually not take damage from Old Cemetery. Ooh, that Research is a good top deck. So let's go capture. Hopefully Radiant Drachi's in the deck. It is. We do have Drapion. We do have Mighty Anna. That's all I really need to know. I'll just Research here. See what we got going on. Okay. There's Drapion. Go retreat. I didn't get another Zorua though, but that's fine. They could boss. If they okay, so alternative. If they go Mew V Max knock out Zorua this turn, I will go Drapion. If they knock out my Jirachi, then I will go my Diana. And then we go Drapion. They could go Meloetta though this turn also. If they go Meloetta, we oh no, they're going to the meat. Well, they're capturing me. Oh no. And they get the lucky heads. Oh my god. Okay, that's pretty bad, actually. Okay, well, now they can go Meloetta, knock me out. And they play the Lost City. Okay, that's fine. It's a little annoying. We're going to lose our poor Zorua, but it's all good. I'm glad they played the stadium now, though. If I can find my Glimwood Tangle, we can get rid of that. If they knock me out Mew here, then I can still go Drapion, which I'm going to do. If they do go Meloetta, though, they have to go Meloetta. Meloetta is the better play, obviously. I don't really have an answer to the Meloetta. I mean, I can try to Jirachi it. I'm going to have to. It just feels so bad, but it's the play, I guess. But I can also go Serena knock out Mew. Never mind. We just knock out Mew with Serena. Yeah, they're going Meloetta. It's fine. We'll go Serena knock out Mew with Drapion. Drapion might not have... I mean... See, ideally, we want to go Mighty Anna here. Honestly, though, I think I'm fine to just do this. All right, what do we draw? Slowbro, so that's good. All right, so we'll go grab Curlia number one. Ideally, we want to go Mighty Anna first, not, not Drapion, but the Meloetta kind of forces my hand. So let's get rid of the Flapple. Hmm, rip, I didn't get Azorua. It's fine. We're just going to knock out the Mew VMAX here, take our three prizes, and then we'll figure out a game plan from there. Maybe they'll whip the knockout too, which is good. Does it matter where I put this? Now let's put on Jirachi. It's fine. I don't want them to do Oracorio. That's why I didn't really want to put the damage on the Jirachi, but I, they're going to have to deal with Drapion. Right, okay, what do we got with the prizes? Level Ball's good. That gets me Zorua. Zorua's good. That gets me Zorua, obviously. Ralts. Okay. Cool, cool. So they have to knock out Drapion this turn. And if they don't do that, we're chilling. Now, if they do knock out Drapion, here's the thing. They go knock out Drapion with Mew VMAX. We can go Jirachi and maybe knock out the Mew VMAX. That last bent spot they bent, they has to be a that has to be a uh, an Oracorio because now we're gonna try to establish the Mighty Anna. Which maybe it's good we didn't put the Mighty Anna in the discard right away. I mean they probably think I have it, obviously. But see now they got a bench Oracorio. That has to be an Oracorio. If that's not an Oracorio, then we can go Mighty Anna knock it. But alternatively, we can also go down the route of Jirachi. Escape rope, that's fine. I'll give you my Ralts. Don't mind that at all. Drapion staying alive would be fantastic. I mean, they probably have a boss play or something, but we'll see. But yeah, we'll see if they end up benching another Mew or Norcorio. They don't do either. They actually scoop the game up. And you see, this is why I teched out my Zorark box deck to have a good shot at beating Mew. Because Mightyena does not beat Mew by itself. 
And also, they have Lost City and Oracorio, which hard counters Mighty in it. And Mew is just also very fast, which sometimes is hard. And that's why you just need the Drapion sometimes. All right, let's see what we can do here with Zoro Box in this game. We are going to be going second. And thankfully, we open up a Jirachi. Unfortunately, though, the rest of our hand is pretty mid. Not even an energy for Astro Misfortune feels bad. But they are mulliganing, so maybe I can find an energy here. Oh, it's Mew. Okay, well, Mew's all over the place today, so that's fine. We can beat Mew. Good thing we do have multiple basic outs, though. Okay, that's good. They lead with the Meloetta. That's not so good. Again, not having access to Astro Misfortune this turn kind of feels bad because I would love to do that. But I think my game plan here is to set up the thing. Now, honestly, part of me is low-key tempted to drape on this Meloetta. That feels bad. But the thing is, though, if I drape on the Meloetta, I... I have Mighty Anna from Mew, plus I have Jirachi from Mew. So I have two outs to kill Mew, but it feels bad. I don't know. I guess we'll see what ends up happening. They lose two Gust. That's good. Catcher and Boss are really good discards. I need a supporter. Like, if I can draw a supporter here, that'd be fantastic. I really need to draw a supporter. Can we draw anything useful? No. Okay, this is where things get a little awkward. Jirachi's ability does bail us out. Grab Zoro. Do we have Mightyena? We do. And wait, do we have Mightyena? Oh, we don't have Mightyena. Mightyena's prized. Thankfully, we have Drapion, though. Hmm. Interesting. Quick Ball. Could get Ralts. Zoro. Zoro. Uh, I think I do want Ralts. Because ideally, they're going to probably knock me out here. And then I can just go Astro Misfortune and... Yeah, we'll see. If they knock out my Zorba, that's annoying. Um, I don't know. Because here's the thing. If they go Meloetta this turn, they have to Sparkle, and they won't be able to do boss. They'd have to rely on Catcher. So they might not knock out my Zorba. If they just knock out my Jirachi, and then I can do my ability, then we're chilling. Now, they might path me, though. They only put one energy in play. Oh, the other one's in their hand. The other one might be prized. Four Seal Stone. Crystal Cave. Okay. Sure. That's not Lost City. And also, you know what? That's also not... Path. Okay, they could have pathed me there, and that would have been huge. If they played a path down, that could have been really bad. They could have pathed me there, and then I wouldn't be able to use my ability. And then I probably would have lost, because I'm stuck in top deck mode. Unless I draw a research here. But yeah, no. I think what I want to do... I want to knock out Meloetta with... Flapple. And then we go Drapey on their Mew. Or maybe even Mighty End of the Mew, if they don't put a Norcorio down. And they just knock me out. Did they not... I Did they forget to do the other Jenny? I don't even know what just happened. All right, let's see. What do we want? So I think we want Capture Energy. Capture Energy Zork Research. Seems good to me. Yep, cool. All right, I'll grab these three. We'll see what happens here. So we go hit him with Flapple, knock out Meloetta with Flapple. I guess ideally I'd rather Appleton because Flapple can do a lot of damage, but I mean... The way I'm winning this game, I'm not going for, I'm not going for two shots. I'm going for one shots. You know. Okay. Let's see, we draw. Best top deck would be a Curlia, maybe Gloomwood Tangle. It's okay, I guess. Okay, let's transform here into Flapple. We can capture energy for another Zerua. You know what we can do? We can air balloon Glimwood Tangle. We can rescue Carrier here for Zorua Jirachi. Get the squad back into play. Could have actually probably gotten a Ralts there, but I like having double Zorua. And then we'll research. We will retreat. We'll level ball for a Curlia. And then we'll evolution incense for Slowbro. Sure. We'll get rid of that. And what do we got? What do we got? Anything good? Okay. No well, acidic mucus for the knockout. All right. So we don't really have a Mighty Anna set up yet. I really want Mighty Anna the prizes. One in six chance. Didn't get it. Honestly, though, I could just go Jirachi. Try to go KO Mew Jirachi if I want. I can go maybe KO Mew Jirachi and then Drapion. Yeah, last Mew. So I don't have Drapion with this current hand. The current hand does not have me give me access to a Drapion. So that kind of sucks. It's a downside of using Flapple early on, or not, well, having to knock out Meloetta with, like, a Flapple or Appleton, you know, you kind of don't get access to, like, that early, early, like, I don't know, you don't get the Drapion play as easily. They do bench a second Mew, which tells me that they're actually going to maybe not bench Oracorio. 
Where's Mighty Anna when you need it? See, now see now I wanted to go... Now it would be better to go Mighty Anna because I didn't put an down. It's fine. Shouldn't matter too much. They have actually... Hold on. Am I knocking them out with Gallade? Dude, this thing is doing a lot. 60, 120, 180, 240, 300. Ooh. Yo, Gallade actually KOs Mew, I'm pretty sure. Right? Because Gallade does 360 damage. Oh, yeah, no. I think we just knock out Mew with Gallade. <laughs> that works, too. I guess there's one way you can beat Mew is if they overbench their stuff. Okay, well, let's level ball for another Ralts because we're going to have to sub another Curlia. And then we will refinement here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm doing 360 damage. My opponent definitely overbenched, which is actually really good for me. I didn't really consider the idea that we have Gallade, but here we are. Yeah, we can just use Gallade here. Even though they have fighting resistance, this thing just destroys them. Holy moly, get blown up. 330 damage. All right, can we get Mighty Anna to the prizes here? Curly is really good. Serena's good. And the middle card's Mighty Anna, right? Oh, let's go. All right, that should be GG's then. Um, they could rock sand me, I guess. Which would suck because I don't have anything set up. Okay, they got the Oracorio, so unfortunately Mighty Anna's out of the picture. But I should be able to win this because I should just go Drapion for game now. Um, they have to kill the the Gallade too because Gallade also one-shots their Genesect. So if they keep it alive, I can just go Serena knockout Genesect and win the game with Dynablade. So I guess that's one way to beat Mew VMAX. If, my, if your opponent just puts nothing but Vs in play, you can just knock him out with Gallade apparently. So I didn't, I mean, that's just also an option. That's why Gallade is good, but yeah, they Techno Blast. So I have to go. Do I have any other win con? Not really. I think my win con now is to just go Drapion. See if we can find. All right, well, I now have the option to maybe go Breaks in. Let's we'll see what we get rid of here. We'll get rid of the Mediana. Oh, no, wait, I just went with Mighty Anna. What am I saying? No, I do have game with Mighty Anna. I forgot. Mighty Anna can actually just knock out one of the Mews on the bench. Yeah, Mighty Anna can just kill Mew on the bench, right? Because we can go Air Balloon into Mighty Anna, knock out Mew. Yeah, that works. Kind of forgot that Mighty Anna. I keep thinking Mighty Anna only works on VMAXs, but it can work if there's just a VMAX in play in general. Like, I just, like, didn't really, didn't really click that. That could be a thing. But here we go. Serena. That's a game. I had so many ways to win this. I even had Slowbro, right? And we had Drapion, which we could have used here to knock out the Mew. And that's game. So, yeah. I didn't expect uh, Gallade to actually be the main attacker, but yeah, Gallade actually put in work. That's why I like having the Gallade in the deck. I'm telling you, Curly is the future of Jonjin. Okay, going second, we had a Mulligan, which is good. Our hand is not that great. Mm, still nothing very good. We're up against Reggie. All right, Reggie is very beatable. We do play Slow Bro, which is really all we need. And this is where... The Cleaver is going to shine. This is one of the reasons why I like having Cleaver in the deck. Cleaver is going to be very good here against Reggie's because it's the best attacker we have against something like Reggie's. Like, you do have access to, like, Appleton, which is sometimes okay, but Cleaver does a lot of work. Unfortunately, they did get a turn one Aurora in the discard, which is really annoying. I don't like to see that. So, yeah, we got to try to just take a knockout every turn, and we do have access to Slowbro, which is one of our biggest... Things we have. They might Marnie me next turn. They did get rid of a Serena, which obviously means there's either a Research or a Marnie within their hand here. So we'll have to see. Okay, do they have anything else? They have a Capture G. No, they just Dragon's Horde for two. Only two cards here. That's not bad for us. What else do they find here? Let's see. They got a Gigas. I don't like that. And they pass. Okay. We still don't get anything really all that good. Mm, we'll get Curlia, or else I guess. Nothing we can really do. Sometimes you just get... Sometimes you just get bad hands. There's nothing you can really do about it. So hopefully my opponent doesn't get a knockout here. We're just kind of hoping they don't. They do have a massive hand. Again, I wouldn't be surprised if they had a Marnie in their hand or a Research. Because they got rid of Serena. It would only make sense. Okay, they did just steal. If they get one more Reggie in play now, and an Aurora and another Energy, they will be able to get a knockout with Giant Fangs. I don't want them to KO me, because I am slipping behind a little bit here. So we'll have to see if they're going to get a knockout on me or not. I'm hoping they don't. We'll have to see what happens. Again, there's most likely a Supporter in their hand, because they ditched the Serena earlier on. 
So I would imagine they're sitting on either like a researcher here or a Marnie. They could have another Serena though. They could also have another Serena within their hand. That is also obviously an option. There's a capture energy going down. Okay. That's annoying. That gives them the almost turn two. They just need one more Aurora and they can attack here with Reggie Drago. They also might be able to use Reggie Lecky if they're lucky, which is not good. All right, we'll see what's in their hand here. They have three cards. There's a Marnie. All right, I don't mind the Marnie, though. As long as they do not draw an Aurora and a discard combo, Marnie helps me out as long as I can also see a supporter. We do see a Serena. Not the best hand overall, but it's better than nothing. Then I put an Aurora on Drago here, so it means they probably whiffed. Path, that's fine. Okay, they did whiff, which is good. So, that's fine. We do have to lose this twin energy, which kind of sucks, but what can you do? All right, here we go. Five card draw. What do we got? Didn't get much, unfortunately. We can get a Curly. I don't think we're going to be able to knock out this Reggie Drago, though, unfortunately. It didn't look like it. I mean, we can refinement here for two. Don't think we're going to get anything good. And we do get the Cleaver, so never mind. We actually do get a KO. Um, we're going to go ahead and grab Manaphy here in case they go Reggie Lecky. And then we are going to Phantom Transform into Cleaver. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to actually get a knockout there, to be honest, but I'll take it. And we can route for 140. Now, the nice thing about the spot is my opponent can't one-shot Cleaver with Reggie Lecky. They have to use Reggie Drago or Reggie Gigas to knock me out, or Reggie Rock. But we'll see if they end up doing that. Because the thing is, they have to find that last Aurora, and, and they don't have it. We're chilling. We are sitting on an okay hand. We have another Zoark. We do have Curlia plus Gardevoir, which can draw us four cards here, which is one of the things I like about the Gardevoir is it does let us draw extra cards, which is really good. So we get we get to play a double a double draw four in one turn, which is one of the reasons I like this Curlia engine. And the fact they promote Reggie Lecky is really good. That means they may or may not have this knockout because they don't knock out Cleaver. We're chilling. And if we can take a couple more prize lead here before Cleaver goes down, that's really good. Because again, this game comes down to whether or not we can manage resources, get Slowbro activated, but they did have the Aurora. So they could have run Regirock. Oh, they don't got anything. They are completely stuck. That is what I like to see. I'm actually going to use opportunity here to get rid of Slowbro. I don't even know if I want to go Gardevoir, to be honest. I think we're like just big chilling. Yeah, we got another Rolls, which is fantastic. We can just route here for the knockout, taking another prize with Cleaver. We have... Two prizes, a two prize lead to my opponent. My opponent doesn't really have anything going for them right now. If they don't knock out this Cleaver, I'm going to be head. I'm, well, actually, Cleaver can't take any more knockouts because, unless I go after the Gigas, but I can't. So maybe it doesn't matter. Cleaver actually can't, unless I bench Pokemon, but they kind of have to bench Pokemon to keep up in this game. Uh, but they just, looks like they just kind of fell behind here. And that's one of the things you can do against Reggie. When you're playing a single prize deck, sometimes Reggie just doesn't keep up the pressure and they just fall behind. They do bench another Pokemon and they Reggie Gate. This is the best play they have, but I'm already going to be ahead three prize cards, and I don't know if my opponent can really make a comeback from that. You know, I'm going to have a huge lead on them here. Okay, we're going to do this. We're going to Evil Wind Sense. We're going to grab Appleton. We're going to Refinement the Appleton away. See what we got going on here. Capture and G and Serena. Okay, we'll evolve into Guardi. We're going to play Shiny Narcana. Just going to do this to hold the hand we do get a rod which we will play when i put back the zoark we can just hold the hand too well now they could mm. okay we'll trade we'll trade we'll refinement away the serena maybe we can set up breaks in we'll balloon and then we'll route for the KO. Probably should have actually grabbed a Zoark there off that Evil Wind Sense. That was a misplay, actually, because they could Marnie me. Okay. Slight misplay on my end. I should have grabbed Zoark. Will it matter when we have plus four draw? Might not, but yeah, no, I, I misplayed. I should have Evil Wind Sensed for Zoark there. Don't know why I didn't do that. That was actually kind of a silly misplay, because if they Marnie me, I could get punished. But if they attack with Reggie Drago, then we'll see, because I can just use Capture Energy and just knock him out with Thick Mucus, or Cleaver, obviously, but I just probably want to go apple but you can kind of see why i like the cleaver in the deck see it's really good early on against reggies it's one of the things i like about it it's good against single prize decks where they bench pokemon it's the best it's also the bulkiest hitter you have in this scenario as you saw they couldn't knock it out like appleton breaks in they only have like 90 hp right where cleaver has 140 which forces them to actually go for the big knockout with a with an aurora combo so that forces more to my opponent 
But uh, they will get a KO. If they Marnie me, I'm going to be a little upset that I kind of misplayed there. But again, it doesn't matter. They don't even have a Marnie. Yeah. So this is a turn where we just probably hit him with the Apple. Well, yeah, at this point, it doesn't matter. Well, does it matter? I don't think so. Yeah, I think we just swing the Apple at them here. Seems good to me. Let's go Refinement. I actually could have Ultra Balled there to thin even more, but whatever. Yeah, it's all good. We'll just Ultra Ball. Go to Drapion and Flapple. Grab Zoark here. Yeah, I do like Appleton in this scenario because we can use the Capture and G. Can Shining Arcana. Now that breaks in is nice. Retreat. Phantom Transform. Yeah, I think Apple is the best play here. The only downside is maybe Apple might not be able to take a knockout next turn, but I don't think we have to worry about that at this point in the game. Now I'm just going to take a knockout. I'm not going to play the Evil Wind Sense just yet because they could have a boss or something. They could knock out my Zoark. And then... Because if they knock out Zoark with like... Well, maybe maybe I should have grabbed it because I guess they don't have the other good Reggie Lackey. I'm not... All right, whatever. It's fine. I think we're in a good spot though. There's a world where Appleton doesn't take a knockout next turn, which is the only downside of using Appleton there over using the... Uh, Cleaver, but it was correct to probably get the extra Zorua down. Plus, we were able to, you know, just kind of hold on to the twin and double turbo just in case. But we're in a really good spot. We're drawing, you know, four cards a turn. We have the Gardevoir, the Curlia set up. It's not looking good for my opponent. They do promote Reggie Gigas here. Can they get a knockout with the Gigas? I don't know if they have a Reggie Drago in the deck left, so we'll see. No, they do. Okay. They do have the Drago. But yeah, they're going to go Gigas, and then I'm going to go knock out with Zoark. I might even research, because we're going to lose energy, but I'm fine with that. And this turn, we'll probably hit him with Cleaver, obviously. Yeah, we'll go Cleaver here. They do get rid of Path, which is fine. Don't really mind that. And then they have one card in hand. It could be a Marnie. Could be a Marnie. A Marnie would be pretty deadly. They could also retreat into Drago and then find a net and then reuse Gigas. But no, they just knocked me out. All right. They didn't do anything, actually. So, yeah, depending on the top deck here, I think I'm going to just go research and just try to draw, draw cards, you know? Yeah. I'm just going to draw cards here. At this point, how many energy do we have left? Oh, only one twin. Hmm. Never mind. I guess we're not doing... Re well, the twin energy prize, so yeah, we can do research then. There's a twin energy prize, so it doesn't really matter. It's fine. Just trying to thin the best I can. All right, what do we got? More stuff to thin. We do. We have refinement on the Zoark here. We can play the Glimwood down. Not that it'll matter. You might as well, though. We'll shine in Arcana here. I think we can burn the level ball, too. Grab that. Just burn that too. Evolve into Zoark. And then we will take a knockout here with Route. And the game should be over. My opponent probably can KO me, but I have the energy in hand. They could Marnie me, but I could get the other twin out of the prizes, which we do. So if they do Marnie me here, it could get a little awkward because we might not be able to find the energy. But even then, like, we can afford to fall behind a turn because we're so far ahead in the game. Plus, we have access to Slow Bro if worse comes to worse, I guess. But. Should just be game over. I don't really see how my opponent can stop me at this point. Um, they have to Marnie me, basically. They have to Marnie me this turn. That's their best play they have is to Marnie me. And then we'll see where it goes from there. But I should have enough resources to get out of a bad Marnie, but we'll see. There's Air Balloon. One card in hand. They have the Dragon Sword, most likely, because I don't think they have a supporter here. I'm surprised. They only put... Bro, they played one Marnie's entire game. They were still able to keep up with the Reggie's. That was actually impressive. Even though they didn't play a single supporter, they played one supporter, they were still able to keep up with the Reggies every turn. Oh, they're going for the Reggie Rock. It doesn't really matter, obviously. Yeah, they have to Marnie me. They have to Marnie me. If they don't Marnie me, we win. They have to play a Marnie here. Or they have to have some weird tech card. I don't even know. It has to be a Marnie. I'm trying to, like, yeah, it's got to be Marnie. If they don't Marnie me here, we win. Let's see it. Do they have a Marnie? No, they're retreating. I think that's going to be GG's here. Yeah, they'll hit me with a the Reggie Rock. They got a path. That's fine. Is there a Marnie? Is there a Marnie? Or are we going to see... Oh, there is a Marnie. All right, game's not over yet. They had the Marnie. All right. Now, I don't actually even know what's in my deck, to be honest. I wasn't really paying attention. Hopefully, there's a way to shuffle the deck. Or a supporter. We win. All right. We got him. 
yeah, I'm like, okay, as long as there's a way to shuffle the deck, we win. And as you saw, we got research. So we do have game here. We are going to be able to see our entire deck here with the research. So that's GG's. We can Phantom Transform, go into Cleaver, because Cleaver's awesome. And route. And that's game. Reggie's is not a bad matchup. As you can see, Cleaver, Appleton, Slowbro, they all come together. You just got to make sure you're able to keep up with the pressure. And having access to Curly Gardevoir really helped us there. Keep up with the pressure. Because you just got to make sure you're attacking every turn. Try not to miss too many beats. And Reggie should be good. Because Reggie can also miss a beat pretty easily. I think you have a higher chance of not missing a beat over Reggie missing a beat. Reggie can always miss a beat before you do. Okay, going first. We do have basics, but this hand is kind of mid. Not much else going on in the hand. Uh -huh, but the mulligan will help me out a little bit. See more cards. Playing against Reggie Lecky Vikavolt. Okay. This matchup is definitely not easy. Item lock is pretty bad. We do have Cleaver, though, which is our best attacker in this matchup because they will fill their bench up, and that's good. But yeah, our opening hand is not very good. The mulligan will help me out a little bit. Them going second does let them maybe get a turn item lock, which could be really big, actually. So I am a little worried about this matchup, but it is beatable. There we go. But they have zap those, too. Okay, then. Okay, let's attach and pass. Hopefully my opponent doesn't knock me out. Rawls actually has 6 HP, which is not bad for Vigable. With the friggin' Zapdos they have, they could knock out my Ralts here with Vigable, which would really suck. Mm-hmm. Hopefully that doesn't happen. I mean, they need a lot. They need Vigable, Melanie, Water Energy, Lightning, a switching card too now, which is nice. So yeah, I think I just need to establish Cleaver, and this matchup should be pretty good. No, they're playing Rodom. Oh, they're playing a Rodom V deck. All right, this is really spicy. Rodom Reggie Lecky. I actually, I like it. Unless they're playing Vega Bolt, though, too. No shot. I don't, huh. Oh, well, they did find the pivot card. I don't think we're getting KO'd here, though, thankfully. They're actually going to Reggie Lecky V. Okay. Rodom Reggie Lecky is actually a really cool concept. I like it. Oh, they have Raikou, too. Okay, they might get a KO if they can find... No, they can't. They can't Melanie. Never mind. Mm. That's fine. I mean, if we're not getting item locked, again, our game plan is very straightforward, right? With the with the uh, Cleaver. I'm really hoping that we can draw a Jirachi here, by the way. Because I don't want to waste my twin energy. Do not want to waste twin. Okay, so they are... It looks like they're... Well, they might have Vigabolt in the deck. I got to imagine they're playing a Vigabolt in the deck. Um, so we got to still watch out for that. But look, they are playing it down right now, which is good. All right, what do we draw? Okay, I'll take Curlia. Put that there. We'll get rid of the breaks in. All right, let's see what we can get here. Anything good? No. Ah, uh, more energy. I mean, we do have Gallade as an attacker, so let's attach research. Gallade... Works in this matchup, too, so I, might, I guess we'll uh, prioritize that. It's fine. We get another Zorua, another Ralt. Not much else to do. I think I'll just pass. Evolve Zora can pass. Fine. Now, they could boss my Zorak this turn. If they get Regilecki VMAX, boss energy, they can do that. Which they probably, honestly, they probably will have. But they must be playing Serena. But uh, this is where Gallade will shine in this matchup. Gallade's pretty good against um, against this deck. So we still have Gallade. Being down a lot of those energies, though, is pretty bad. But I guess, like, Cleaver can still do, what, 140 with the full bench with a double turbo. So it just feels bad I had to give up so much energy like that. But I think we're still in a fine spot. Flapple's good here, too. Flapple can do, what, 50, 100, 150, 250 damage right now. No, it actually does 300 damage. Or, yeah, Flapple does a gajillion damage, too. Because everything in play has an ability on my opponent's side of the board. Okay, do they have a boss? I wouldn't be surprised if they did. I probably shouldn't have evolved the Zork to be honest, but I do want my options here. I don't know. I just want my options. Let's see if they find a boss. They might only be playing Serena, and maybe they only have one boss. If they don't boss me, we're chilling. They don't boss me. Now, how am I going to knock out this Raikou is my question. It is very possible to KO, but how are we going to do it is going to be the main question. Okay, that gives us... That gives us Gallade. I think... I think we just got to go Gallade here, folks. Drop the Gallade on him now. Feels a little too early to do Gallade, but it's fine. It's going to refine me... 
or do this. Could I could have knocked out Reggie Lucky, I guess, too, with uh, Galley. Maybe I, I don't think it matters to take three prizes, to be honest. But I could have went down that route. All right, it's fine. We got a level ball for second Curlia. I don't really want to get rid of anything in this hand, though. Yeah, there's nothing to refinement away. Every card in this hand is actually pretty relevant. Hmm. Kind of awkward, actually. I guess it has to be the air balloon. I need to draw cards. Okay, there's Jirachi. Refinement. Get rid of Serena. Okay. So I can actually go... Yeah, it's gonna be Galadar. That's fine. Boop, you're dead. They're gonna probably KO me here with another attacker, but if they don't, we're chilling. Okay, another Zork's good. Quick Ball's good. We'll see if the stadium sticks. I probably did need to bench the Jirachi, to be honest. I don't know if I'm even going to use it, because I don't have any Gloomwoods left if they get rid of this, and I haven't played a stadium yet. So I don't know if it was worth it to play that. Now, Galate is a big threat for my opponent here, but they do have another Raikou, so okay, I was going to say, how are they going to knock me out? But they have another Raikou, so... I mean, they could have maybe went uh, Rodon, but they don't really seem to have any tools in the discard pile. Raikou will knock me out, and then maybe we can go Cleaver... There goes our stadium. So now the Jirachi plays not as good. I need to find Cleaver here. And I currently don't have access to Cleaver. Hmm. So I need Cleaver here. Will we find it here? They are going to fleet footed. I get to see one extra card. I could do Zor. I could do double. I could double Zork for a double Curlia if I want. That's an option. See, the issue is I had to get rid of the air balloon that refinement because I need to draw cards, but I could go Flapple too. Let me do Serena. Yeah, Flapple, Flapple works too, right? If it's in the deck. Okay, well, let's level ball. Flapple, yeah, we could just knock him out with Flapple too. That kind of is also pretty good. So let's go refinement here. See, we got off this. Slow bro. Okay. So let's go into Flapple. And then we will play the capture. I don't think we need mana fee. And I think we'll just take a knockout here and then evolve Zoark in case, I don't know, they Marnie me or something. And then we'll get rid of that. Stand out the deck a little bit. Seems good. And Acidic Mucus for a lot of damage because everything in play is an ability. Three hundo damage. What do we get out of the prizes here? It's another Zorua. It's cool. Bottom card is a Marnie. More supporters. All right. So my opponent needs to... Do something to stop me. Because I don't know what they can do. They basically, next turn, all we have to do is either get Galley back into play. Or we have access to Cleaver, probably to win this game. So, I think we should win this. Unless they Vikavolt item lock me. Which might be a problem, but not really, though. I can still win with Flapple. But yeah, they just go Raikou again. Unfortunately, my opponent, Triple Raikou, is not going to quite cut it. And I can just win with Flapple here again. Unless I play a Lost City. And then I would have to figure out a new game plan. But it's really just either find Cleaver or go Galate or Flapple and we win. And it looks like we can just take a double Flapple here. They could Marnia Roxanne me. That could still do me in. A Marnia Roxanne would still do me in. But I don't think they quite have it here. No, they just Lightning Rondo. Does do quite a bit of damage. But unfortunately for my opponent, I have game in hand. We just promote the Zoark. Let's see we draw. No, Serena. Yeah, let me just go back in a Flapple. Looks like I could have also went with the uh, Brakeston, but this works too. Acidic Mucus, and we take the knockout. We have a lot of ways to deal with Raikou. If this was Vigavolt, it would have been a little bit more sketchier, but we will happily take the dub. That'll be for me on my video on my Zoro Box deck using the Gallade Gardevoir Curlia engine, which I really think Curlia is going to be the future draw engine potentially when rotation comes around, as we're going to still have the Curlia and the Gardevoir and the Gallades to work with when Inteleon rotates and Crobat rotates. We honestly could see like a, a Curly engine be the future of draw engine, so I'm excited to see it and getting to try it out here is really good. The deck's a lot of fun to play. Again, if you want to see more gameplay with this deck, check out my live stream I did the other night. It should be up on my second channel. If you want to go watch that VOD, it's up on my second channel. You can also watch my Twitch, but it's also up as VOD on my best second channel if you really want to watch it. But uh, that would be for me on the Zoroark box deck here. A lot of fun to play. I really like the deck a lot. I think it has a lot of options. There's other ways you could build it and play it, which makes it even stronger. 
And uh, that'll be it for me. If y'all enjoyed today's PC Joe video, leave a like on the video. If you're new to the channel, subscribe down below. Help me out. We're reaching 36 thousand subscribers and want to thank you all for the support on the content recently and all that good stuff check out car cabin down below if you get any codes use code ldf check out my twitch my twitter my discord you can also check out the shovel squad down below every monday i post a new video and the shovel pod we just did our recent episode on this past thursday where we sat down and talked to alex shamansky who got second place at warsaw regionals so that'll be it and i will catch you on another video have a good day Bye bye